see at the end there, I did end up past, or maybe you can see, past the fingerboard. So the, one of the problems with this one is just it's a little short. Uh, the other issue is our 3D printer wasn't big enough to print it all in one piece. Um, the company gives you an option to print it in three different pieces. Um, and you can see the lines. So we did that. So the body of this violin is printed in three different pieces. Um, it's a little high up back at what we call the nut on the end, and that can get a little weird, but otherwise it feels okay. Can't push too hard um, because the strings are a little bit low to the fingerboard, but that is something probably a little bit higher bridge could be dealing with, and you do 3D print this bridge. Um, we made the blue one later, and in retrospect, it would have been cooler with a black bridge here too. Again, no chin rest probably could put something on. I'm just using my regular shoulder rest here. It fits pretty well and stays on nicely. Um, this one is also quite heavy down here got a lot of hardware so when you're holding up it feels very wanting to droop um, which makes it a little harder to get up high but very you know it's comfortable size wise it's big so that's good and here are just some long notes <laughs> stay in tune quite as much it's still settling i think we've it's probably been about a month too since we printed it it's definitely gotten better the strings are still kind of settling and i don't know if it'll ever get great just because of the multiple pieces let me show you the back so you can see how it fits together um but yeah so that's this one <laughs>